I'm happy to introduce our next speaker today, who is me. I'm Todd Polino. I'm a senior staff SRE at LinkedIn. For those of you who don't know the term SRE, it's Site Reliability Engineer, kind of on the operations side of things there. So my talk today is about running Kafka for maximum pain, but really it should be to all the tech debt I've loved before. And I promise I won't start singing. So, Technical debt is the cost of the rework that's required by choosing an easy solution now. So we always have to fix it at some point later. And just like financial debt, you build up interest on this. It gets more expensive to fix this thing later that you did quickly now. We all do it. We do it for very good reasons. We've done it in Kafka. We've done it both in the way we've deployed Kafka at LinkedIn, and we've done it in the way that we've developed Kafka in general. And now we've spent a lot of time at LinkedIn when we were building Kafka and when we were growing Kafka in what's known as hypergrowth. This is the stage of a company where you just throw money at the problem over and over and over until you get a really big customer base and you get everything working well. And then at some point you step back and you say, okay, we grew, now how can we make this more efficient to make our investors happy? So how do we run it better? And that's the point we're at in a lot of things with regards to Kafka. How do we make this run better? How do we make it easier to operate? So I'm an SRE and I work with software engineers, SWEs. And so, you know, the SWEs are constantly trying to put in new features and I'm trying to constantly make things run stably. So we have this opposition in place. Not really. I love my software engineers. These are people that I work with on a daily basis and we work together as a team. So both of the roles in the company are critical. We have to have both SRE and SWEs in place. We work together to balance operations and features. So they have new features that they need to put in place because there are people who want to do things with Kafka or people who want to do things with their applications that require those new features. And that's important for the business. At the same time, my goal is to keep everything up and running properly, but at the end of the day, we're all on the same team. So my job is to enable the software engineers to move as quickly as possible while still meeting the SLOs. For anyone who's not familiar with that term, SLO is service level objective. It's just like an SLA, which is a service level agreement, except there's no penalty. So you're really just saying, yeah, I'd like to have 99.9%, but if I hit 99.8, uh, nobody's charging me any money for it. Now, that's the benefit of working in a private cloud with private applications. If I was in Azure, if I was running Kafka in Azure, there are different things going on there. If you don't make, you meet your SLAs with your customers, it costs you money. So even though I don't have penalties, I still have objectives that we have to hit. And Nitin was saying before that he meets with his VP constantly to talk about when they miss their SLAs and SLOs. I do the same thing. We have to talk about it every week, every single miss and why we missed it. So how big are we talking about at LinkedIn right now? Two trillion messages a day produced every single day into all the Kafka clusters. Not necessarily unique data, but it's still a lot of data and it's still all getting produced somewhere. Our single largest cluster does five gigabits per second of inbound traffic for unique data and about 18 gigabits per second of outbound traffic. So you can see we have about 3x consumption of the messages that are coming in. And this is before we mirror that data around anywhere else. And in the whole infrastructure, we have two and a half million partitions across all the brokers we have. And we have something like 1,800 brokers right now. Our largest clusters get up to 250,000 partitions in a single cluster, and we allow the brokers to have up to 10,000 partitions. 